I cannot embolify you. Are you kidding me? Oh, bastards. What's going on, Draconians? Draco Invictus here with episode 6 of our Civilization 6 domination run with the Gathering Storm add-on for the game. And we are picking up right where we left off, turn 89. Let us get right into the action here. All right, guys, so uh, we finished doing defensive tactics here, and it uh, looks like we've got Bastions, plus six city defense strength, plus five city range strength. Uh, limes, that's the one that we really wanted, 100% production toward defensive buildings. Uh, that counts for our walls. That's why I waited to build walls, uh, so that we could get limes. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, declare protectorate war, declare reconquest. Let's take a look at, um, so right now we're running discipline, which is giving us five combat strength when fighting barbarians. I want to swap that out for limes so that, um, I'll turn that off, turn that on. There we go. And, uh, we'll leave everything else as it is. And uh, so now as we start building our walls, uh, we will be able to build them in a much shorter amount of time. So that's how that works. And we need to pick a new civic here. Take a look at our civics tree, and we will see that uh, recorded history, um, we need to get that done. Now, of course, we're moving toward mercenaries so that we can start uh, getting our uh, cores done but to do that we need feudalism yeah i guess once we do feudalism uh then we can actually spec into uh, mercenaries and to boost build six farms so we will work on that we have time to do it we've got 14 turns um before i think it's about 14 turns because this is 40 percent so 15 turns something like that um before the boost would kick in. So we've got time. So let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, we have room for a new governor, right? But we have Magnus, who we haven't even put anywhere yet. Uh, can we assign him somewhere yet? Yes, we can put him over here. So we will put Magnus over here for now. And, um, oops, that's what I want. So we have a promotion available. Um, let us really quickly, uh, let's, uh, look through here. Plus 20% growth in the city. Your trade routes ending here provide plus two food to their... See, this, uh, food growth, uh, is something that we definitely want. Now, provision is settlers trained in the city do not consume a population. That is an important one. But for where we have him now, I think I'm going to go surplus logistics. Uh, just so that that city can grow a little bit faster. Now we need to send an envoy. Now, Yerevan, we are the suzerain of Yerevan. Um, and it looks like no one else has become the suzerain of any of these or devoting any points. Because with three points, we can become the suzerain of them. So since we already have two points here in uh, Rapa Nui, we're going to go for that third point, become their suzerain as well. So we gain a base of plus one diplomatic favor every turn. City state follows you into war, blah, 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 blah. We can see three tiles around them. Uh, but we also get all of this uh, culture and all that stuff. So uh, that is something that we definitely want. And we got a plus two era score out of it. Nice. And uh, looking over here on our bar, uh, we are at 54, 56. 
um, for a to go into a normal age. Right now, we're still in our golden age. Uh, let's check arrow progress: ten to twenty-eight turns. So uh, we are clicking along there, uh, taking a look at these guys here. Uh, he's our score is two hundred eight. Their score is one thirty-eight, one fifty-six, one eighty-seven. 125 and 146 and our military strength is uh, actually not as low as him geez 45 but yeah we can actually tell a lot here um so japan has uh four cities uh molly has four cities uh nubia has five cities and uh, poland has four cities and um, one last thing that I want to do is come back over here. Let's go into the trees. Uh, everyone is tied up here. Uh, we are all kind of grouped there, as you can see down here in the bottom. I need to turn on my cursor. That's what I'm missing. You guys can't see what I'm doing. All right, yeah. So down here, still can't see the cursor. That's weird. Let me check that setting one more time. And capture cursor is on. Huh. Don't know why that's not working. Anyway, down here in the bottom, I'm actually uh, bringing up the little tooltip area there. We are all grouped together. Uh, so we are all specking at about the same point. And uh, we are actually working on a construction right now. So we need to build a water mill in one of our cities to get the boost. But we're probably four or five turns from needing that so there's hope yet and then if we look at our civics um we are here in the lead group because i can see the little star there because we're working on feudalism and then there are three uh japan brazil and mali are um are running a little bit behind they're still back here uh, specking and stuff so oh, now you can see the cursor that was weird all right so uh yeah let's keep going all right guys so um we did not we still haven't built a water mill and i'm not seeing the ability to build a water mill uh here in our capital so um i'm going to let construction run on that even though we did not hit the boost um because i don't even see where we're, we could build it it could be because we don't have see how do we build the water mill and it could be because we don't have the wheel done I'm not seeing where we could build it so hmm. interesting That's weird. Look over here. So we haven't mined a resource. We have found a city on the coast. Um, we also have apprenticeship. No, that's industrial zones. We do need those two. I'm going to go ahead and change over since uh, the boost is ready for construction. Uh, we're just waiting for that to hit. So we'll go ahead and switch over to apprenticeship. And now you can see our ancient walls will only take uh, three turns to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. All right. So our trade caravan is uh, complete. Uh, so it is going time to start the next cycle here. Um, looking at um, what we've got going on here, we're in almost 17 science, almost 16 culture, 57 faith, only earning 8 gold. So I need to get our gold uh, running. So I think I'm going to trade with uh, Rapa Nui because it does appear that, uh, let's uh, go gold. Yep, Rapa Nui is going to be our best bet. Um to get gold and it's going to be a short amount of time because I think we already have a 
Yeah, yeah, we already have a road to them. So we're going to go ahead and repeat that route. And we found ourselves another city-state. Mohenjo-daro? Sure, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. And if you're from there, I'm sorry for pronouncing it so incorrectly. All right, so we completed our walls, right? And uh, so we got a boost here for engineering. So that's good to know. And we have a great general that we can recruit. Sun Tzu, nice. So passive effect, plus five combat strength and plus one movement to classical and medieval era land units within two tiles. And when I retire him, I get the art of war as a writing. So uh, we will definitely be taking that. Let's take a look at some of the other ones, how close we are to getting any of them. So uh, let's see here. Uh, Euclid triggers the Eureka movement for mathematics and one random technology from the medieval area. And it looks like Brazil will go ahead and be taking Euclid. Uh, we are not in the running for anybody else. A great merchant. Yeah, we're not making any uh, great merchant points uh, for that. Looks like Molly, obviously, is going to be getting that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit Sun Tzu and move on. And here is our great general, Sun Tzu. Now, I don't know if his bonus counts for the warrior monks. Um, so I'm just going to kind of park him out of the way right now. And uh, we'll figure out what to do with him. All right, guys. So we discovered apprenticeship. And got a plus two air score, which puts us over um, our... There's no easy way to train an apprentice. My two tools are example and nagging. Huh. All right. Um, so, yeah, we are now on our way to another golden age. We're at 57 of 70. And we need to go back into our civics tree here. Um, it looks like uh, recorded history. And look at that. Poland is way out in the lead here. Now, feudalism, as soon as we build six farms, that'll trigger. A recorded history will trigger. So it looks like... Um, yeah, it, I guess we just need to keep specking on what we need. So I'm actually going to jump from recorded history back over to feudalism. And uh, get that finished up so that we can get mercenaries going here. And it looks like it's... Uh, no, it has not been boosted yet. I have eight land combat units in your military. So that's easy enough to do. So mathematics. Let's go ahead and get mathematics done. Um, even though... Screw it. The wheel's only going to take two turns. And then engineering's already been boosted. So let's uh, get up to speed there. And we still haven't built a water mill yet. That'll only take two turns to complete. So we'll start working on engineering after that. And we have discovered the Galapagos Islands. Nice. Still can't build a water mill. So the wheel was not what we needed. It's probably engineering. I don't know where that unlocks, but um, so since uh, there's nothing that we can really do in our city right now, um, our population is a little stagnant right now. It says zero turns until growth. We're at five. We're generating ten food. Turn production off and food on. There we go. Need to get our city growing again here. So now we're at 14 turns until growth. Oh, we still need to pick production. So I'm going to pick um, Holy Site Prayers. So uh, we get where I've been getting huge boosts uh, to our faith so that we can start making more um, warrior monks. Yeah. 
And look at that, we got our great scientist. It triggers the Eureka moment for three random technologies from the classical or medieval era. Nice. So we will go ahead and recruit them. So we got education. Enlightenment. I don't know why that triggered. <clears throat> but we haven't even triggered our, our great person yet. That's kind of weird. Alright, here's our great person. So we need to take them over to a campus district. Oh, she's complaining. Too bad for her. The four building blocks of the universe are fire, water. Yeah, construction been boosted. Military tactics has been boosted. And machinery has been boosted. Nice. So, since uh, construction is now completed, we can come back over here to our tech tree. Uh, we are working on engineering right now. Uh, which has already been boosted. And uh, then we can move into um, other stuff over here. Niter, don't need it. Military, the armory, that's going to be a good thing. There's medieval walls there. So yeah, we will continue with engineering for four turns. And then let's go ahead and jump up to... Mathematics there. Since it's already been boosted. So as soon as this completes, mathematics will roll in. Now we can build a water mill. So yeah. Apparently it was just that we were doing stuff in the wrong order. So a water mill provides plus one food, plus one production. Rice and wheat resources gain plus one food. Each city must be adjacent to a river. Which all of our cities are adjacent to rivers, so... Except maybe this one? Maybe Bulawayu cannot have one, but... And we have an envoy. Man, everyone's culture. Where's all the gold city-states? Shit, come on. Alright, um, let's see. What is your quest? Send a trade route. Send a trade route. Okay. Uh, let's go Mexico City. Alright, feudalism. Discovery of feudalism by the Zulu. Plus one era score. I don't think we're going to make another golden age here. It's your vote that counts. In feudalism, it's your count that votes. See, I love serfdom. Serfdom is a great economic policy because your builders gain extra two extra build actions. That is awesome. So they go from three to five. But I don't know that we actually want to change out because right now we're running uh, scripture and urban planning. Um, and we really don't have a lot for our builders to do at this point. So I think I'm going to leave it the way that it is. But as I was looking around, I realized that we have one trade route, an additional trade route available. So stirrups got boosted. So we need to change our civic. Mercenaries. That is the one we want. Everything else be damned. Mercenaries and then nationalism. That's our next one. Oh, Bulawayu. Oh, there is a river there. Duh. There we go. Look at that. I lost a city. Can I even still...
I cannot envelope by you. Are you kidding? Oh, bastards. Oh my God. <sighs> Look at that. I to it's totally jacked me up. All right. I'm going to explain this and then I'm going to wrap up this episode. Um, because my religion is not the dominant faith. I cannot build for your monks. That's a problem. That is a problem. Make convert citizens to their religion initiate the actual. Yeah, see, but I don't want an apostle for Catholicism. Wow. I don't even know how to fix that. How do I fix that? I have no idea, but you know what? That is where we're going to leave this episode right here. We're just going to bam. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get out of all this. I'm going to save this game right here. Turn 115. And that is going to ramp up this episode, boys and girls. I'm going to have to figure out if I can actually do this the way I wanted to. Wow. This may have to change everything i wasn't even paying attention to the fact that they were actually converting me oh, damn it all right well anyway see look it's the trials and tribulations this is going to be a very interesting game and uh i hope that you guys are enjoying this series i'm enjoying bringing it to you and if you want to see more after i'm done with this season you guys let me know I, I, you know, I'm always looking at the analytics of videos and stuff like that and, and trying to figure out what's going to work on my channel, what isn't going to work on my channel. So if you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know down in the comment section. If you don't want, if you're, this isn't something that you're terribly interested in, if you are just watching this because you are loyal to stuff that I put out and you're just doing it for me, um, let me know down in the comment section too, because I want to be putting out content that you would be interested in, in seeing. So, um, the only way I can do that right now, if I don't hear from you guys is look at the analytics. And, um, if I'm not seeing some decent numbers on videos and watch times, and I look at all that stuff, um, if I'm not seeing good numbers, then I will go on to something else. So you have to voice uh, your approval or non-interest uh, down in the comment section. And of course, leave likes and, and all that good stuff that lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. It's the only thing that lets me know I'm doing the right thing. I need to hear from you guys. So until next time, Draconians, this is Drake Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.